Wobbles can be scary and even deadly. I am pretty certain the monowheel motorcycle never became popular simply for wobbles such as this. I received a lot of private messages on why I got the wobbles from my last video. I will explain the physics behind wobbles and what we can do about these. My first experience with wobbles on an EUC was the first day of trying out my first EUC ever. As a beginner, I had my legs clamped to the sides trying to master this contraption. Lucky that I did not fall. Over the years, I got speed wobbles too as I was acclimating to my gradually faster wheel with each upgrade from KS14C and then to my KS18L. My first really scary wobble was on my Nikola going at around 28 miles per hour. It was quite a surprise and very frightening. Lucky I was able to get out of it. This is not me, by the way, on this clip. That's when I decided I needed to change my riding style to prevent these wobbles. So what exactly causes these deadly wobbles? I searched far and wide trying to understand the physics of these wobbles. I searched motorcycle and bicycle websites to elucidate the cause and prevention. However, because the EUC is a one-wheel device and not two wheels and does not have handlebars, no windshield or mirrors to affect to cause asymmetrical drag, it totally changes the dynamics of wobbles that occur on an EUC. I had to gain a true understanding of the physics behind the wobbles. Think of the concept of angular momentum. Angular momentum is a property involving the speed of rotation, the mass of the wheel, and how the mass is distributed. The heaviest part of the wheel when it spins on its axis is the rim. Therefore, when the wheel spins, that heavy mass, the rim, is exerting a momentum perpendicular to its torque and hence parallel to its axis. Just look at the bicycle wheel when it spins faster and faster when suspended on one axle. Watch how the wheel lifts up and is able to rotate as if suspended on both axles. The angle of momentum has changed when torque is applied to the wheel. The wheel starts rotating around its pivot point because the angular momentum is chasing that torque. This is referred to as the gyroscopic precession. Gyroscopic precession is the resultant action or deflection of a spinning object when a force is applied to this object. Imagine trying to balance on an EUC in the standstill position. Very difficult. As you increase the speed, it becomes easier to balance. The angular momentum is helping the rider to stay upright. Beginner riders tend to wobble because the EUC muscles haven't developed yet. Because the angular momentum is influenced by speed, the faster you go, the greater chance of a wobble. Add to that a sudden change in direction, such as avoiding a barking dog, being an inexperienced rider, sudden braking, the rider can then have a potential loss of balance. So whenever the wheel isn't exactly in the direction of the driving direction, it gets some force parallel to its rotation axis. This gets more intense with speed because of the higher angular momentum and the stronger force on the wheel. In other words, this sudden unexpected change in wheel direction will cause the wheel to go in a harmonic oscillation to try to correct itself so that the rotational axis is in the same direction as the forward travel. The rider then tries consciously to quell that oscillation and overcorrects, making the oscillation worse and worse. The rider panics and either jumps off or tries to correct it more, which rarely works. So what can we do to decrease these wobbles? Firstly, always gear up. Full face helmet, wrist guards, elbow, and knee pads. An accident can happen anytime. 
Don't rush to be a pro writer. Develop your proprioceptive skills. So what are proprioceptive skills, do you say? Proprioceptive skills, basically you have all these tendons in your body, all over the body, that sends a signal to the brain that lets you know exactly where your body is in relation to space. I know without looking at my legs that my feet, what my, my left foot is ahead of my right foot. I know that I'm standing and I can feel on my knees the, the sides of the wheel. I know that I'm holding a selfie stick with my left hand and it's putting pressure because it's freaking heavy. Uh, I know that there's a sensation of a helmet on my face. So basically, it allows you to know where your body is in relation to space. That's your proprioceptive skills. Motor reactive skills, how you react, how you react quickly. Basically, you, by training, I've trained myself to do a tuck and roll when I fall. So develop those motor reactive skills. Again, don't rush to be a pro. You need to when you ride, don't be a zombie rider. You gotta flex your legs this way. Flex your legs. That allows you to be more relaxed instead of being stiff. Anything that comes your way, you should be able to uh, react faster. Pedal placement. Look at, look at my foot pedal placement. They're askew. My left foot is more in front of the right foot. And there's a reason for that. My theory on uh, non-symmetrical pedal placement in helping it curl wobbles, I think it causes you to go in a mini carving motion. Mini carving motion, it doesn't have to be as explicit as this, okay? Mini carving motion, just by your feet slightly askew, you actually end up being in a little mini carving motion. And that will help to quell the wobbles. As I showed before in my last video, when I had the crazy wobbles that scared the crap out of me, what did I do? I did not panic. First thing, do not panic, ever. Best thing to do is when that happens, you go in a very deep squatted technique like this and try to stay relaxed. Deep squatted technique. Deep squatting, deep squatting breaking, and it should slow down. Do not panic. Always be aware of what's going on. Always be aware of the potholes. Always be aware of cars around you. Seated riding is the best way to prevent wobbles. The lower center of gravity just allows you to slow down that oscillatory, harmonic oscillation that can occur. So when you have to slow down, I love seated riding and I love this handle on this V13. It really helps a lot. Really amazing. Hi, how you doing? Well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, hopefully you found this video entertaining and informative. Until next time.